Today I'm here with Paul Hermelin, the chairman and CEO of Capgemini, to discuss Capgemini's 2019 full year results. Paul, hello. Hello. Could you start by giving us your overall impression? Was 2019 a good year? 2019 was a, another year of very solid progression for the group. We had warned a little bit that in the fourth quarter there would be some modest growth, but when I look at the full 12 months, it's a year of spectacular progression on several fronts. First on bookings, we have grown our bookings year on year by more than 11%, including a spectacular deal with buyer above 1 billion. Second point, revenue growth. 5.3% and growth in most geographies and we have progressed on many fronts in some new domains, in some new sectors. Margin progression 12.3, so an increase by 20 basis points. So that's for the ninth consecutive year of progression of the margin, which you can be proud of. And it's uh, in the range that we had guided for in February 2019. And last, the free cash flow, which is spectacular, 1,288 million, where we were shooting for 11, so we have beaten the, the ambition significantly, and that's a good sign of financial discipline. Well, those are some impressive numbers uh, that confirm Capgemini's strong performance. Could you please share with us some highlights from this past year? So my first reason to celebrate uh, last year was a year of further progression of the reorientation of the group to, towards the new. So digital and cloud now represent more than 50% of the group revenue on a full year basis, that's the first time. Some important wins with clients that show the nature of our client intimacy. And I take the first one with Volvo Cars, which was a large program to support them, not only in cost, but also in digital innovation. The second point was Coca-Cola, the bottling subsidiary in North America, where we are now in charge of their infrastructure to modernize it so that it is more efficient but supporting new digital and cloud transformation. Next point I want to stress is our success with partners. Big progression with AWS, Amazon Web Service. Spectacular growth with Microsoft and notably their Azure cloud offering. Solid growth with Salesforce where we have passed and we are now their number three partner. And last, uh, SAP with S4ANA, where uh, a growth above 60%. Now, of course, acquisitions in 2019 uh, have played an important role in Capgemini's uh, strategy. One in particular has uh, caught the media's attention over the last few months. Could you tell us where you are in Capgemini's friendly tender offer for Altran? Our acquisition is not only the big Altran acquisition. It's a uh, adding new skills, adding new clients to our base and some very targeted small pearls, as we say, the string of pearls. The first one was Laidos in cybersecurity in the US. The second one is Connexus, a high-end consultancy in Germany specialized in energy and utilities. And we have announced yesterday the acquisition of Purpose, which is a leading consulting group that is very expert in working on social media. Now, the major step last year was the offer on Altran, a friendly offer supported by Altran board. We have now uh, clearly above 50%. We wait for the court to issue its uh, support to the decision of the French market authorities. Then we will launch the final offer to collect a few more shares and we'll start to deliver. I'm, I'm more and more convinced this was the right decision because intelligent industry, which is the combination of digital technologies in engineering, connected product and manufacturing is growing momentum by the day. Now, last year you spoke about Capgemini's CSR program, citing it as a priority. Uh, where does the group stand on this a year on? So if we have three pillars. The first one is diversity. We are uh, where we need to be with 50% of women in the board of directors. We have progressed year after year in the proportion of women in our staff at count. The second pillar is digital inclusion, which is fighting the digital divide. The last one is a mobilization of all our colleagues on climate change. And when I say climate change, I mean our own carbon footprint, but also helping our client to reorganize, to rethink their business, to be better and more energy effective. And how do these translate in terms of 2020 guidance? It has been prepared with Ayman Ezat. You know that Ayman 
will replace me as CEO of the company after General Assembly. So we carefully prepared that together. So revenue growth around 4% at constant currency. A further improvement of the operating margin to for a range between 12.4 and 12.6. Our free cash flow objective at 1,200 million uh, euro. So these three objectives combined would demonstrate and will demonstrate another year of progression for the group. Thank you, Paul. Any final message before we close today? I think the group is now resilient, the group is agile. We want to show that we can work for the benefit of our client, our people and the full society. That would be my dream of a successful group. Paul Hermelin, Chairman and CEO of Capgemini, thank you very much. Thank you.